Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on January 7th, 2020. Welcome to another video. Our son just did something. Now, we were looking at this last night, our sunspot, active sunspot region, and as well an incoming sunspot region, equatorial. Now, something happened today, and SDO is not being, uh, is not available right now. So I went over to the LASCO 2 images to look at our coronagraph. So LASCO 2 and LASCO 3 showing a large coronal mass ejection. Look at that thing. That is huge. So this is the image that I saw first and I went to Solar Dynamics Observatory to get a better look and yeah, they're not even, uh, I'm not able to get onto their site right now. It's very interesting indeed. If this was an earth facing CME, could have been toast. Look at all the plasma inside of that rip. And it looks like it's not done. So we're gonna, have, well, we'll have to wait until Solar Dynamics Observatory puts their site back up. But right now, they cannot be reached. This is our sun. And this is the most activity we've seen in quite a while. So here, looking at Solar Dynamics Observatory, this site can't provide a secure connection. Now, I'm not, I know I'm not the only person that is not able to get the links right now. I looked around, I did my research, so it's not just me. But I think it has something to do with this equatorial sunspot and coronal hole mixing. That coronal hole formed quick and had a lot of form to it. Kind of a perfect circle like. Um, so, yeah, very strong magnetic connection to the sunspot incoming. So stay aware, prepare, my friends and family. Space weather could be affecting us if something like this ever shoots off in an Earth-facing direction. Now, something I wanted to show, show you here was NASA Worldview satellite imagery overlooking Australia. This is Tropical Storm Blake. Now, we've got half the continent that is covered in tropical cyclone, and the other half is being gassed out by these by the smoke and the fumes from the brush fires devastating brush fires in Australia you can see the thick smoke is starting to encompass the southern hemisphere these fires have been burning for over three months over three months now, I wanted to show you here this is this year so far for satellite imagery over Australia January 1st into the 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Look at the size of this low pressure system that spun in. Yeah, the heat didn't let any of the moisture into the southeast of Australia. So thoughts and prayers going out to all of my friends and family and subscribers in Australia. God bless humanity. Thanks for watching today. Please share this video with your friends and family from around the world as we like to stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.